and welcome back strat fans to our carl friends let's play so <clears throat> where we left off last time we had just um beaten up festus beaten him to the curb and um we had seen a new threat arise down south so we have this vampire threat to deal with now um we've sent volkman through to try to intercept before they get closer to reichland which they're closing in on and we're rushing carl down as well carl now has deathwing and galmaraz so he's really powerful um so we sh i feel like we should be able to catch them in time and if we do we can pulverize these vampires and send them back to their graves all right so with that um i believe let's go into the intern I apologize for the late uploads today, Strat fans. Um, a lot of a a lot of personal things have happened today. Um, I did uh, I did lose my job because I, I got scammed and somebody had to take the blame. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't think we can win this one. I could try it. No, I'm just gonna let them let them take it. I knew they're gonna take it. So we gotta get Carl down there really fast because Vlad's coming up as well. And there's another army going over here Greetings. to attack Volkman. We let him fester for too long. Yeah, rally political support. A new Grumberg was gonna be lost. Uh, 14. Volkman's only 10. And he's got uh and he's got he's lost his his uh his troops let's get carl down here now oh, he's got a 20 stack and so is vlad yeah this is uh not looking good not looking good at all hopefully we can get to altdorf before they attack it i have a feeling they're going to try to take every settlement around it first have to get Hartman out of here. I don't know they they're at war with Talibium, so let's see if we can draw them in, and hopefully we have Talibium's reinforcements. All right, we're gonna just gonna we're gonna go for it. Yeah, this is not looking good. They have they have us in a pincer. Vlad's just really powerful. We may have to call in some allies for support. Um, okay, they just left, or maybe they can't win to ambush stance. All right, we'll have another aggression pact. Negative growth, war weary. Yeah, I, I know, I know you're war weary, but there's nothing I can do. I'm trying, I'm trying, I, I really am. <laughs> there, there's Vlad. There's he, there he is. But where did his uh? Oh, did Nolm destroy his army? His other army? I don't know. Who's he at war with? Pretty much everybody. So let's see. I might be able to have Volkman attack this guy. Oh no. Uh, and have Tal. Yeah, Talibiam can come and help. All right. Let's wipe this vampire out. How's he still alive? How? I don't see how you survived, my friend, but all right. Well, let's, uh, oh, geez. Yeah, I'm going to wipe you out. All right. There goes one vampire army. Now he's got a Pegasus. Um, the reason why I auto-resolved those strat fans was because I really do need to get some better units. Um, now Talibium is um, reinforced. Our next threat to deal with is Draga. <laughs> and, you know, I feel like we kill... We'll kill one one enemy and we'll trade her for another. Trade him for another. All right, let's get. Um, let's just go through his, his yellow line. Get him some. Get him buffed up. All right, so, and then um, it is for the we'll do some recruitment. And yeah, I'd rather get great swords, even if that means I have to stay there for for three for two turns. I'm still gonna get three great swords. And then Vlad's here and he's reinforcing Grumberg. He's probably trying to draw me out because he knows he has a bigger army. He knows he does, so he's trying to draw me out. Me, I am going to sit in Reichland for a turn and recruit a greatsword unit. All right, because he al we already drawed one of his armies out here and because he's actually at war with all the other empire provinces, including me, that um, I feel like he's going to try to go for Ubstrecht. And if he does, then I, having a greatsword unit, can actually catch him and kill him. Even though he has Graveguard and Isabella, um, he, he's very powerful himself, too. Um, I just think I can actually take him. But, um, you know, he's got casualty replenishment. He's got um, replenish his hit points. But Galmaraz has Sundering Attacks um, and a lot of weapon armor-piercing weapon damage. And I have... Deathclaw, so I feel like I might be able to take him. We might have to do some combining though to really be able to take him at take him down. Let's do fuse. Fuse these together. Let's see, Trickster's helm. Uh, yeah, let's fuse that. Uh, sort no. Well, can't do that. That's all right. That's all right, Strat fans. All right, let's go through. See what Flad does over the intern. That was really lucky though that we caught his army out in the open like that. That was really lucky. 
That doesn't happen all the time. Oh, there's his other guy. He's down there harassing Gnome. All right, what are you doing? Okay, so he his other guy went down there. Um, I, I think he went to Gnome and he died. I don't know. I need to find out where he's at. Eh, yeah, I'll do that. Let's go up to Von Karstein. All right, well, we might just go take Grumberg, but I'll probably, because Nolan is really kicking his butt right now. I feel like I might be able to just sit here and recruit while he's getting his ass handed to him. I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to try to do that and get rid of some more of these guys. Okay, get them out. Him... And then two more of these guys. Well, shouldn't have done that, but it's all right. Still have more great swords. And also, I can al I can also um, get rid of these guys. It's cost me a lot of cash. And these guys, because th they're, I'm not at war with those Norskins anymore, so they're kind of calming down. All right, <clears throat> let's see. What are you gonna do ne this time, Vlad? I think he died. I think he either died or he went. To another part of the map. I hope he didn't get killed off, because that would be very anticlimactic. Yeah, and Kemba's gonna attack me. I know he is. He's been brewing, been brewing for that. And Helmgard, I think Helmgard has enough. Come on, then attack. Yep, and I knew you're gonna do that, and you're going to die. Get out of here. Get out of here. Give me that money. Deleted. Deleted. You fool. Jeez. Should have learned by now. I'm gonna come up there and get, kick your ass next literally deleted there's vlad right there so he just moved his guys around i think he's trying to amass them i think all right i could get this and get some knights of the blazing sun um but i'm probably just going to um increase you know the garrison and, and all that and, and of course recruit better units all right so that would be for them um do i have yeah i might want to get one more of these cannons okay and then I can have one more unit. Let's see, one more unit. I think it'll be, um, yeah, another great sword. All right, two more great swords and a, uh, a cannon. I should be good after that. And for Bulkman, we're gonna get him some some more, uh, not great swords, probably cannons. Then give him a cannon. And he's just gonna be sitting there replenishing. Yeah, sometimes strat fans, the best strat to do is to wait for them to do their own stuff. <laughs> And you know, I'm sitting in Altdorf. Okay, defensive. Um, I mean, you don't. You only have to worry about two enemies. All right. Let's see. Let's see. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? All right. He's baiting himself out there. He's gonna get killed. Yeah. Get out of here, you little bitch. All right. We're gonna have to go chase him down, Strat fans. All right. As is my right by Sigmar's crown. Now, this is a decisive. Now. One thing I didn't notice, I, I've tried to play this battle before, <laughs> and um, I did get wrecked the first time, because I uh, didn't notice Isabella has this uh, Storm of Night ability, and it just completely nuked Carl. I didn't see it coming. So I didn't want that to happen, so I just nuked her, um, and you know now I just auto-resolved it. Now, we'll, we'll find another battle to play, um, because you know we have, we have this... The, these two vampire lords, we have this one, so there's plenty to go around. I do apologize for that, Strat fans, because I know you guys, I promised y'all um, a battle, and that would would be a really awesome battle, but um, they just pulled out too many cheap tactics, and that's why I uh, that's why I decided not to, to go with it. Um, plus, the terrain wasn't really favoring us, and um, it would be very long and drawn out. So for your the sake of your time and mine, I decided... To just you know to just yeet them away and we still got their defeat traits but um yeah so this guy here he's got a pretty basic army even though he's got these sylvanian crossbowmen and that and that's a tier two so that would be a very bad idea for us to attack him but if we can bait him out of there that'd be great um i am going to encamp let's see i can actually get a caraborg great sword which would actually be really good One, two three Four, five, and then I'll exchange this last swordsman. Oh, Prince no, I can't get a Car Caribou Great Sword. I gotta wait. Alright, well, I'll at least recruit one. And then I'll actually recruit two more. Or, no, I'll recruit one more. Yeah, well, that'll be six. Yeah, two more. Yep. And then we'll have plenty of Great Swords to go around. Um, and because we buffed them up so much, like, look, that's 137 armor. That's insane. 
Plus, they get this guardian ability, which gives them physical resistance, um, and it really does help. So then, um, with that, let's uh, get some mortars for Volkman here, and then some more great swords. So Volkman will be able to come in through here and start sniping th these territories. Um, but the fact that we deleted Isabella and Vlad will be very, very beneficial. They may, in fact, they may um, outnumber me here and get all of them here. And if that happens, I will have to pull back. Um, but that hasn't happened yet. So let's, in fact, no, I might want to pull back just in case. Yeah, let's pull back to here. That way, um, I think only these two can reach. Nope, that guy could reach too. Well, if they catch me there, at least I'm closer to Altdorf. That way I'll we'll flee back to there. Oh well. Let's give it a shot, Strat fans. Yeah, that just caused me a headache because of that Storm of Night thing that Isabella has. And it's like, they're very strong together. So you can't, you have to make sure you bring the right, um, the right combination. And like a Life Wizard, even though we can counteract the enemy's damage to our units, um, we, we can't outheal them. Oh, well. Okay, they decided just to, to go away, so that means I guess Grumberg's going to be our battle. We'll just clear them out one by one, because then we'll have a, a pretty good force, a pretty good fighting force. They sent a hero to do something, I, I don't know what, against us. Alright, well we're not fully healed up, but I think we can take him. Yeah, it's a close victory. <sighs> so there's a lot, there is a lot of vampires here, but um, there's only the Strigoi. And um, the only missile units they have is these guys. So I do think we can take them. Let's see what our terrain is. I have a lot of heavily armored anti-infantry units, so I think I can actually chew through them. And he doesn't have any... I mean, he has some spells, but I don't think he has anything that's really damaging. Fireball, um, Spirit Leech. Spirit Leech is not damaging at all. He does have... Um, war oh, I mean, whatever... Okay, so it, it's going to be like a minor settlement battle. Um, so we're going to have to pick one area and go at it. I'm probably going to pick this area or this area. And I think we can take it. Um, so let's uh, let's quick save and let's get into it, Strat fans. I think this one's a lot more favorable than before because we don't have Isabella's cheese and Vlad's overpoweredness because Vlad has a ring that gives him like 60% ward save so he can like literally not die. And if you don't have something that can assassinate him, like if I feel like the only ones that can counter Vlad are character assassinator heroes and and Carl ain't like that. Um but Carl has units that can assassinate characters, but he's not a character assassinator and I don't have any of those units. So it was a very poor matchup and um because it was him and Isabella it was easy for him to uh, counteract it. Now they're defending a settlement garrison here, so um, I'm going to use concentration of force. Uh, that's the that's the best tactic I can do, um, and I'm just going to concentrate my force on one area. In fact, this is a very common tactic used by many War Warhammer players, and um, it works pretty well. Even though it can leave your flanks exposed, um, I'm just going to find a pretty, you know, I'm not going to use the two-pronged over here, um, either here where I'm already at or, or here. Um, the thing is, like, there's no, like, walls. These are just, like, pathways. So we got to make sure we commit to one area and go through it and make sure we you know, calm the other areas. I, I could splinter off and go in the different directions, but that'll just leave less units, less units in, a, in an area. Um, so I feel like with, with their heavy forces, a concentration of force will be best applied here. All right. I do have artillery. Um, and I want to try to take these squares here because they have barricades. They have towers. They have towers and towers here and here. I could move my guys here and go through here. See, the thing is, this is a this is a big choke choke point though. And they could just have their guys down here too. I would much rather go through here, even though this is kind of a choke point too. Or these two choke points, and split my forces up. 
But um, I'm probably... You know what? You know what? I think Choke Point probably does it the best. Even though there's a lot of towers. Mm. Yeah, towers take a while to build. So I'm going to just go for the Choke Point down here. And let's get these four. All right, and then we'll put him here. He's on a Pegasus now. That's way better than before. And then we'll have our gunpowder units in the front. And our other missile units in the back. Our archers, our mortars in the back. And then our cav guarding the mortars. All right, let's channel our magic because I don't think this Dragoy guy got has any any real big spells. And we'll start deployment. All right. Yep, and they stationed some guys here. Let's get a mortar here. All right, we'll do some healing. And then we'll do Awakening of the Wood on these Skeleton Warriors. Do some damage. Fuck him up. Get some melee reflection on him. No, we're gonna have to go around, man. Yeah, let's go around. Golmarez! Then we'll do um, Awakening of the Wood. There we go. Yeah, Carl is like decimating their forces here. Let's get these Grave Guard taken care of. Let's uh, continue to pepper them with these guys. Yeah, Carl is like 1v1ing their whole army right now. Let's uh, do the Awakening of the Wood. Yeah, get some more damage down. Yep, let's do that. Get the Sylvanian crossbowmen down. Yeah, those <laughs> Sylvanian crossbowmen. Kill them. There we go. Keep your heads down, man. They're casting spells. Alright, well we uh we we we've I think we've won this one. Already, I can already see a difference. Yep. Alright, let's do Awakening of the Wood. Whenever I get a chance, I'm just gonna use it, pop it. And then these vampire units will just start crumbling. Soldiers of the Empire. All right. Great swords. Gotta be careful not to, you know, kill our great swords. Great yep. And then these zombies here. Soldiers of the Empire. 
Black Knights, let's take care of them. Then we'll heal up some soldiers. Alright. Let's get our get our wizard back up in the air. Come on, wizard. Come on. You, you don't belong in combat. What the... What are you doing? Get out of there. Get out of there. Get up. Get back up in the air. You don't belong in combat. Like, Carl is, is okay in combat. You don't belong in combat. Carl is dealing with their heavy units right now. He's dealing with them right now, too. What is that? Okay. Uh, it's probably his... I, I don't even know what that ability is. Let's, uh... Let's help these guys out. And then the hand gunners are going to help them out. By to me, man. What? At speed. All right, he's coming for Carl. Come on, Carl, get back up. On way. Formation. March. March. Come. Go. Why can't he go up in the air? I think it's because he's in combat. Yeah, that's probably why he's in combat. War! Moving! Take the ground! To arms, men! Take position! Charge! Ready for war! How to die! State troops ready! All ranks! Fire! Mortar! Fire! Pick your targets! That's an order! By Ulrich's wrath! For Heldenhammer! By Ulrich's wrath! Alright, we're taking a lot of them out, even though we, we do have to deal with a lot of them. And that's really what's causing us to... And they keep doing that stupid thing. Okay, what is he casting on himself? Oh, Siege Defender... Oh, oh, that. To try to keep his guys from faltering. Let's cast Golmaraz. Yeah, we just have to deal with these guys, and then they're pretty much done. Once he falls, I think we'll be good. We're taking a lot of casualties, and that's just because of, um, you know, we don't have a lot of guys on this fl flank here. And they just have more and more, you know? That's really what it is. It's just they have more and more guys, you know? And let's... For Sigma, At speed. By no, let's just keep firing into them as well. For 
you know, that'll that'll kill them, and then once they're dead, we just have to deal with these guys. This is probably going to be a Pyrrhic victory. Ready for war. Come, lads. Slay us. Make me see to it. Very well. Yeah, they're starting to crumble, so that's great. We just have to take care of this guy. Battle Wizards. Oh, jeez, man. Yeah, they're just they're pounding us with these um these towers. It's really what it comes down to. Oh my god, really? 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 Carl can't handle them all. And then, of course, they, they rush the Crypt Ghouls in on this guy. Alright, he's starting to waver, actually. So that means he'll, he'll start to crumble. Yep, that's the army losses. They're crumbling. Yep, they're crumbling. He's going to die. Yep. There we go. There we go. Close. Close victory. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I thought that was a pretty good plan. Alright. That's how you deal with some vampires. Now the Strigoi is a lot different than other vampire lords. Um, they're more melee centric. They're, <clears throat> they're less of a buffer and more of just like a, a reckless monster. Because they're like a vampire that's lost their marbles. So they've, they've just gone berserk. So it's it's a lot more difficult to deal with them um, in in the melee. But once they die, um, again, just like regular vampire lords, their army will start to crumble with them. And their army didn't do a whole lot of damage. It was just him. <laughs> he he did most of the losses and my own guns. <laughs> but um, even though I did do some damage to myself, Carl easily did most of the damage. Look at him, four hundred. 400 kills with Carl. That's why I was like, you know, the reason why I didn't like fighting Isabella and, and Vlad was because Isabella's, like, her spell took Carl out of the equation. And that's why that's why my army got clapped in that one. And then I was like, you know what? If I can just auto-resolve that one, I will. Because I don't want to deal with her the possibility of her popping that spell and just one-shotting my lord. Uh, but that one was fun. That one was fun, Strap fans. I mean, if you guys agree, you know, I feel like it was fun. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see what we got. What goodies did we get? Well, we wiped out this vampire force, so that's one goodie. And then we have quite a bit of rewards, treasury, some experience, some prestige. Then the obsidian lodestone, which gives us some spell resistance. And I'm going to just occupy because Grunberg was my settlement. Alright. And then Reichland is secure again. Alright. We didn't lose one unit. So that's good. I am going to um, buff up his... Um, I could do Sigmar's ward. Nah. I'm going to do... Um, yeah, that. Steam tank. Pistol core. Uh, pure gunnery. No, no. I'll just I'll just keep with this fervent. Then he doesn't have anything to upgrade except for his steel technology. Um, I am going to upgrade Grumberg. Um, and Volkman here. He's got one more great sword slot. I'm gonna give that to him. That way he has six great swords and so he's officially replaced his his infantry. So that's one way to do it. It's not what I wanted to do, but you know sometimes you're forced to do that. Alright, so I could get Zitler's, Zitler's Reichsguard, which I think they have, yeah, they have bonus physical resist, um, Guardian, and, uh, like, immune to psychology. So they're pretty good. Ugh. 
I'll probably replace one of these archers with him uh, next turn if I get a chance. I feel like either Vlad here, who is just by himself now, and now no Isabella, though he does have some corpse carts with uh, one has an unholy lodestone? No. One just has a bale fire, which, I mean, yeah, it gives you flaming attacks and magical attacks. And, I mean, doesn't doesn't heal up, so that's that's okay. In the name of but um, I feel like he either he'll attack me in the end turn, or Lissil here will attack me. But uh, but Nuln is, is happy with me, and Nuln actually has fought them back a couple times. Alright, so let's do Burgermeisters again. I don't think I have to worry about Altdorf. We'll we'll do one end turn, and if he doesn't attack us, then that'll be the end of the episode, Strat fans. I just I'm I'm curious to see what he does because we're in such of a pickle. I'd hate to leave you guys off on a cliffhanger. All right, let's see. Getting close. What's it? let's see. <laughs> Peace. No, thank you. You just gonna chill? Oh, okay. You you gonna you gonna siege me? Okay. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Well, um, I have Whistleland coming in to help. So um. <sighs> Fuck, I'm gonna lose my three of my great swords. God damn it. I don't wanna fight him though, because I've kicked his ass twice. And this is that one's gonna go to Wissenland for the victory. Okay, stop the war. Yeah, I'm gonna stop the war. Give me more give me more authority. We'll wipe um, Vlad. I'll let you stay. Let's uh get fervent more and then leader of renown. Get you wound and assault. Wipe you. Wipe you out. Then we'll go here and recruit three great sword re replacements. Even though I hate doing that, I didn't want to fight that battle with him because uh, all right, so once I get my demigriff knights, I'm really going to be able to destroy. Let's uh, at soon we'll have um, we'll be able to get the runefang pact, as well as upgrade um, our the our gunsmith to be able to have our hellstorm rockets, which are really good, um, and we'll be able to get um, our cult of we'll get a shrine of sigmar, which will help and give us warrior priests, which are really really good, and then soon we'll be able to get the the hellblaster volley guns, my favorite unit, one of my favorite units. All right, well, um, Volkman will be ready in one turn, and then we can go take care of this army and capture Wurtbad. So I feel like the tide is turning against the vampire menace. We've successfully saved Reichland from the vampires and um yeah so next episode we're going to be pushing Velad clearly out clear out of out of the empire back to Sylvania all the way to the end and just you know punch him up beat him up so this will be the last episode that I release before Christmas stay tuned on Christmas strat fans because I got a little special treat planned for y'all and with that, Strat fans, that'll conclude this episode of Carl of our Carl Franz campaign. Keep it strategic, Strat fans. Carl out.